Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Hope you're excited about finding out how to use the pressure function in Illustrator. I know me buying my Wacom tablet, the I got the bamboo version, was the pressure function was probably fifty percent of the reason I bought it. And obviously the rest is just because it's so much easier to use. You can use it as a mouse all the time. Right, anyway, I'll just I'll tell you how to the pressure function now. Um, what you want to do is, right, first of all, make sure your brush tool is selected. Either press B, or just or click it here. And then what you want to go do is press this, click on this link here, this button here, and it's the one with the square with the looks like the pages peeled up. Make sure new Kali graphic brush is selected. Click OK. And what, we're not really going to do anything fancy with this, so. Just name it quickly, plus one tutorials pressure brush. Can't even put that much in, don't even know why I said that anyway. Right, so we're going to make it maybe a two point in diameter. So when we go, when we press harder on the back of tablet, the diameter will go wider. So we'll put pressure, variation, make it about 5 and 5. So when I do light, it's this thin line. When I go heavier, it's a thicker line. And there you go. Simple as that. Obviously because it's a brush it's annoying, but when you go to the blob brush, so much better. You can do all the lines without it snap into shape like the normal paintbrush does. And there you are. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks very much.